you in the studio recording Breathe with Taylor Swift. I felt in this clip that she was idolizing you. She was looking up to you, maybe in like a big sister role. Yeah. Watching this other clip mm. of you in the studio recording Breathe with Taylor Swift. There's like a two-part yeah. miniseries about this. Yeah. I felt in this clip that she was idolizing you. She was looking up to you, maybe in like a big sister role. Yeah. In this, it, the fact that this clip exists is insane. Like it's almost unbelievable. <laughs> but did you feel that energy? Did you feel like she was really trying to impress you at that point, or it felt like she was so excited that you were in the studio with her? She was, and you know what? It was. It was a couple of things. She was so uh, sincere and and complimentary and excited and all of that. Um, and then she was also this just brilliant strong young woman that I was I, ha I had like a taken back by because I was like wow this is really impressive to watch to see this woman who knows who she is knows what she wants to sound like what she wants to say and she has she she like you know she was the leader of her team it was really impressive she was saying in the song <laughs> I didn't realize this but in the song she says to you when you're recording and she says okay do this at the end I just want you to riff on I'm sorry She's like, just riff on that. <laughs> and I'm watching this video and I go, that's the dumbest idea ever. And then I and then <laughs> I go, and then I go, because it just sounds so silly. And then I go, is that on the song? I couldn't remember. So I listened back and it's on the song. And in the context of the song, oh my God, it's brilliant. Like it's it fits so well. well. I'm just like riffing like You're, vocally, just both like, of you oh. and her at the end are saying, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. It just seems like <clears throat> it seems like it wouldn't I like if in the video I go, that can't be a good idea. And I listen back, I go, Oh my god, it's a great idea. It <laughs> fits perfectly in there. Like I guess you didn't think that at all. You thought, great, we'll do that at the end. I'll, I'll sing that harmony. I'll just riff on it. Yeah, because that's what singing is. It's so fun to get to that. Once you get to the end of the song, you can just vamp out and do harmonies and do background vocals and and any kind of anything you want. So that's where you get to play play around with the songs and have some fun. Yeah, she was orchestrating everything though. Was she like telling you every harmony to sing in that session, or no? It was like no. It was you just kind of went in and did it. Yeah, I mean, well, I love harmonies are like my favorite thing ever, but we I'm I'm pretty sure we, you know, in the room when we were writing, we knew what part I was going to sing and um and also when you're in the studio, you can try different harmonies or and different different sections, but um you know, I don't remember entirely how everything went. Yeah. Yeah. When you went in to re-record <clears throat> the vocal for the for her album version. Yeah. What I understand about this process is do you think I mean I've I've been listening to your your new record and I think you kind of sound, you know, maybe your voice hasn't changed that much, but I feel like over 15 years, give or take, mm -hmm. has your voice changed, do you think? Yeah. Or do you think it's similar? Mm -hmm. I think there's similarities, but I think my voice has gotten stronger as it would. I, you know, when I listen back, I'm like, oh my God, you sound like a baby. Like I was so young and I didn't entirely know how well to use my voice at that time. And hit certain notes and and all the things like different inflections and now i feel like you know after years of touring and and knowing how to sing properly i i feel like it's different and i think i can hear it in my music so when you went in to do that re-record were you thinking about doing an impression of the way you sounded when you first recorded it or did you think about i'm just gonna sing it the I way just, i would sing it today I and like that it. that's it basically I just sang it as i sang it so yeah yeah it i think i mean and that's you know what's cool about I mean, her music too is like it. You you sound similar, even though you can sound a little more matured, but it, it still sounds the same. Sounds the same, yeah. <laughs> the new record's out along the way, which is your first country record mm -hmm. right now. A lot of songs on this record with Liz Rose. Yes. Why is Liz Rose the best? Like, what are we <laughs> like? Like, when you meet Liz Rose, she might be the most unassuming rock star of all time. She's a total rock star. Why? What is Liz Rose doing in the room that is working? Like, why do we keep going back to Liz Rose? She is, um, she's truly like a, a therapist, like a friend, like a family member, someone that you feel comfortable and safe around that you can she'll be like, all right, tell me what's going on. Like, let's, let's hear it. And you feel like you can share everything with her. And then she'll, you know, I would have an idea for a song and her and AJ were just so great. They were the perfect team to write most of this album with. And, um, she would always have these brilliant twists to the, whatever I wanted to say. And then she'd have this really beautiful, clever way of saying it, this really amazing line. Um, and so it's, 
she really is smart and she's a wise woman. She gives so much great advice and she really is just a beautiful epic songwriter. So do you bring in this idea like worth it, for example, like who comes up with the idea like, hey, let, let's just call a song worth it. Like <laughs> yeah. and and let's figure out a twist. With, and then does she come up with say, oh, like, oh, it could be like this. You know, it yeah. wasn't perfect, but it was worth it. Like, like, is that what Liz Rose is doing in the room? Every well, every song is different, and we all add different parts, different melodies, different lyrics. Um, so when I went in, that was the first song we all wrote together. It was worth was, it. <clears throat> was worth it, and I was telling them what I was experiencing in my breakup and how it was really important for me to share how much I cherish and love this person and and all the beautiful things that we had and AJ had he was like you know that kind of reminds me of this idea that I just started and it was worth it and it was part of the chorus and I was like which oh. part was the chorus the the uh, like which part did he have the uh well i'm i know it wasn't perfect but loving you was worth that it. was all he had he sings that or he says that i i don't know the extent of it but yes yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he definitely had a portion of the chorus and we were like oh my god are you kidding me that's beautiful and perfect no pun intended um and so then that I, we were off to the races it was just like i i knew they understood me i that was my first time working with aj liz had recommended he come in and, and write with us and so after that every time i had something i wanted to say uh and express i would call them and i'd be like all right guys i got more to say and we would turn it into a song and how quickly do you get in with them like you call them up you say i have an idea let's go yeah. well at that what, time it was the... during the pandemic so I, so everyone had free time basically. everyone had free time i still feel like like liz and aj like everyone's books up so far in advance in, in nashville yeah. it's kind of wild but i still feel like we're in a place where if they have free time and i want to get on the books quick that we can that's what we'll happens make it happen. when you're colby um, you just people just it's not fit that. you into the it's, schedule. It's great when you have that bond with them yeah. and, and you love writing together. I don't love writing with everyone. And that's why I was very selective of who I wrote with for this record. Is it a vibe thing or is it yeah. just w like the material you get? Both, or, you know, yeah. a vibe. And this was a very emotional record. And I wanted to feel I didn't want to book a ton of writing sessions, which I've done before, which is really great. And that's what I admire about people in Nashville, like the writers in Nashville. They write all the time and the quality is so good They're It's so impressive to me. Um, but this record, I really didn't want to have a ton of options. I really only wanted to write when I had something I wanted to say and we would execute it then because um, normally you write like 60 songs and then you narrow it down um, so yeah it's and it you know everyone's talented it's it's not even about that it's really that who would understand like the stories I wanted to say and um, be very therapeutic